let's let's move on. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, baseball in general. Uh, you're obviously a former player, and and uh, you know I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you're old school enough where you remember the days when uh, you know there was hit and run, there was moving guys over, there was hitting behind runners, there was you know, hitting it to the gap and striking out was not really a good thing to do. And uh, taking a walk was a good thing to do sometimes. Today, the game has changed. You know, I mean, you go out there and you watch baseball on TV and it's like, you know, you got guys hitting 40 home runs and striking out 125 times, you know. Right. What, what are your thoughts about the game of baseball having been so close to it as you were? Well, you know, it's funny because I had stopped playing in 96 and the game – today is completely different than the game I left. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember when I played, you know, if you were a major league baseball player and you hit 25, 30 home runs, that was, that was something, um, obviously hitting 300, driving in a hundred runs, those type of things. Right. But the game is completely shifted. It's a completely different game. <clears throat> and, and I would say, you know, even on the high school level, it's gotten to be a different game. And I think a lot of that honestly has to do with strength and nutrition. It has to do with science. It has to do with the data, all mm -hmm. the analytics. Um, it's such a scientific thing now. Um, but the, the strength and the conditioning, you know, the things that we do now at a high school program for, for how we develop arms and how we develop bat speed and how we develop athletes and, how we develop our strength. I mean, it is just night and day from what I, even in high school, um, heck, Ralph, when I was in high school, I was training myself. Right. When I was a, when I was a professional baseball player in the off season, I was training myself. Right. Um, we didn't have all this, you know, the strength and nutrition and, and, and these, the, the things that they have now, uh, let alone all the data, all the scientific research that goes into it, the camera, you know, that can, can look at swing path and arms. I mean, we do the driveline program now at high school and all these things. And if you look at major league baseball players now, not that they weren't before, but I mean, these guys are so strong, right? So big. The pitchers are throwing stuff that, um, you know, when I was playing, you know, if a guy was throwing 92 miles an hour, let alone 94, I mean, you hardly saw that. Really? Now guys are, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there watching the SEC tournament the every the other day and everyone's throwing 94 and some guys are throwing 98 and the balls are moving so much. And so you have these, these athletes that are so well-trained and so strong um, from, from pitchers and, and defensive players and the whole thing is just completely shifted the way the game is played. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're getting paid $30 million a year to hit 40 home runs and drive in a hundred, nobody really cares if you strike out that 150 times, heck 180 times yeah. now. So it's a completely different game. I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything with it um, because the pitchers are so, ridiculously good now too and the stuff right. that they're throwing is so i don't i, I sit there and watch it because I, I watch baseball all the time and i'm like i don't know how anybody hits it <laughs> um i mean you see the, what these guys are throwing now so it, it it's completely different and it's 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 completely changed the game 